you guys are having an amazing day. Here is my weight loss update. A bunch of you have been asking me about it. And the only reason I waited until today is because I wanted to weigh myself. So I could give you guys the most current information on my weight. And I weighed in today at 155 pounds. And when I started, I weighed 188. So that means I have lost a total of 33 pounds. Can I just take a moment to express my excitement over this? <laughs> I'm really, really excited. I can't even... I can't, I, I, I've been thinking about it all day, like, wow, 33 pounds. Like, my son doesn't even weigh 33 pounds yet, and I pick him up, and I'm like, he's heavy. And I lost more than his weight. That's the progress from when I started to now, if you can see that. You guys can, like, pause that, and, <laughs> like, I write little notes and put little faces, you know, when I'm upset, when I've gained or lost in the past. But, yeah, got to keep track. You got to keep track of your progress. You guys, all I can say is if you don't give up, I don't care how many kids you've had, you can lose weight. And I don't care who tells you that you can't. I don't care if you're older and people telling you you can't because you're older. I don't care what none of them people say. Because people told me that I wasn't going to lose the weight, too. People thought because I had kids that, oh, it ain't going to happen, even though you're still young. Yeah, well, they're wrong <laughs> because here I am, 33 pounds lighter. So anyway, let's see, what have I been doing this month? Well, one thing I haven't been doing is working out. And I stopped working out right before my birthday. So it's been like pretty much exactly a month since I worked out. But I, I mean, I've, my diet, I haven't been too strict on myself. I cut out little things here and there like always. But I've been pretty much eating what I want to eat. Um, but the portions are way different than they used to be. Which I believe is why I was able to still lose 5 pounds this month. Because I haven't been taking those pills. I just eat less and more often throughout the day. Which is so important people. I can't stress that enough. Try to eat every 2 hours. A regular meal, snack, meal, snack, meal. I mean it's... It's serious. My metabolism is sped up, which is the only reason I can explain why I lost 5 pounds this month without working out, without being on a strict diet. And I'm just really excited, y'all. Ugh, I'm, I'm super excited. Portions is a big deal. I used to eat, like, two linebackers back in the day. Not too far back in the day. I mean, I could throw down. I come from a family who loves to eat and always has. And I grew up with... If I wanted more food, I got more food. If it was more than I should have been eating, then nobody say anything. So I kept eating. It's yeah. So my appetite was quite, quite the appetite. But I'm very happy that that's not the case now, because it's like half of what it used to be. And the ICD Pro pills, those worked tremendously for me, and I have to credit that that little pill <laughs> for helping me get control of my appetite because I haven't taken that pill in like a month and some change and my appetite is still half it's like it, it seems like it trained my body to eat less the reason I stopped taking it is because I was going through a point in time recently that I was really stressed out things were just crazy and I don't think being stressed and the combination of the pill is a very good combination because I just didn't like how I felt I felt like uneasy and just off and I would feel like nauseous. It was really crazy. So I, I just stopped. I, I would take it like once every few days. And before I knew it, I just wasn't taking it anymore. And I'm still losing weight. So it's also supposed to help your workouts be more effective. And that portion I could feel because I would feel more energy while working out. But it's all good. I mean, I just don't feel the necessity to take it anymore. I just work out extra hard. Sometimes if I'm eating something that I really like and it, I might go overboard a little because I get full quicker I physically like I'm full you know how sometimes you're eating something and it's so good and you feel full like your stomach is you're not you're full but you take that one more or two more or ten more bites you feel me yeah and then you're like uncomfortable afterwards and that just sucks sometimes what I like to do is like drink a whole cup of water before the meal and then I'll, I'll intake less food you know I'll have enough but I won't overdo it 
and then drink water afterwards and you'll be surprised it's, it makes a big difference the thing is if you keep eating a lot you over time will stretch your stomach your organ not just what you see <laughs> your organ inside your body your stomach will stretch over time and that enables you to be able to intake more food more food than your body needs and it starts storing and you gain weight which is I believe what I went through aside from having kids back to back so now that I've gotten that under control where I, I, I physically I, I'm full with half the food that I was full with before I, I really don't want to overdo it and stretch my stomach back out to be able to eat all that food again so that's just something I like to do sometimes just drink a lot of water eat some food and then stop <laughs> but I hope you guys are really still motivated and I'm so happy when I get messages or comments saying you know you lost this many pounds or or I motivated you to want to lose weight or something like that it's such an honor that you guys watch my videos and feel inspired to make a better healthy lifestyle for yourself because the more healthy people out there the more happy people out there and the more women that feel better about themselves the more happy everything right happy wife happy life happy, <laughs> happy girl happy world I just made that up but we're gonna roll with that one so I'm just I just want to help you guys out and just make sure you understand I don't care who tells you you can't lose the weight you can you can even if it takes some time you'll get there okay 188 to 155 and still counting five pounds lost this month I average usually between four and seven pounds a month of losing or four and eight pounds a month I'm continuing on my journey and I'm really close to the end so you guys are gonna be there with me hopefully and yeah you guys good luck keep up the good work don't give up and I will see you guys later bye